Syria says foreign back insurgents have fired rockets containing chemical substances in Aleppo province. The attack has claimed the lives of 15 people, most of them civilians. A few months ago, militants threatened to use chemical weapons against Syrian troops. Heavy fighting still rages on between government forces and insurgents in parts of the country. The Syrian army has carried out operations on the outskirts of the capital, Damascus, killing a number of armed insurgents. Government forces, meanwhile, have also seized massive amounts of arms and ammunition from the militant groups. Mohsen Saleh is a professor at Beirut University and joins us from Beirut. Mohsen Saleh, it's the first time the government has made this announcement, but uh, of course we're looking at a blame game, one blaming the other. Uh, what uh, could be the outcome of this scenario were it to be verified? Well, I guess uh, the, the state, the regime, always denied using any kind of chemical uh, missiles or chemical uh, weapons. At a time when the, uh, the opposition parties and uh, the gangs there in Aleppo and other places, they used all kinds of uh, uh, barbaric uh, instruments to uh, kill others in the regime or from the civilians. This won't really uh, probably uh, hold the, uh, the, the regime responsible of any of this barbaric uh, uh, incidents, whether in Aleppo or others. I guess the Turks and the Qataris and Europeans who uh, uh, announced their, uh, their finance and their uh, arming of the uh, opposition gangs, I guess they should hold the responsibility of such uh, behaviors barbaric behaviors against the, uh, the, uh, the Syrian civilians in Aleppo and, and other places. So do you think that this would be a perfect time for uh, a political solution to be on the forefront more than ever before, given the fact that uh, chemical weapons are part of the scenario? Again, were it to be verified. Well, always the regime proposed all kinds of dialogue, but uh, the but, but the opposition parties refused any kinds of dialogue, whether with the regime or even with some of the coordinations inside Syria. This gives us a, a real picture about the uh, gangs in Syria and the people who are helping them, whether Qatar or uh, the Turks. They are trying always to ameliorate their situation on the battlefield, and, uh, and they could not. In as much as they use such uh, weapons, they, uh, they show us that they are uh, failing to do any good to the Syrians at a time when the, uh, the, the regime sending all uh, good and uh, positive messages to uh, all the world, whether to the Americans or to the Russians or to uh, the, the BRICS uh, countries. And always there are ambassadors from Syrian regime to all the world to stop this uh, barbaric actions from the uh, what so-called insurgents or the gangs of uh, uh, militarized by Qataris and the, the Turks and always flooding the Syrian uh, ground with all these uh, gangs from all over the world, from Tunisia, from Libya and from Yemen from all, even from Europe. They, they confessed, I guess, the Holland and his government, they confessed that there are some French uh, men who are participating in these uh, crimes in, in Syria. Very well. It's good to talk to you. Mohsen Saleh there, professor at Beirut University from Beirut.